okay, but inside I wasn't. Uh, and so with that, um, the Lord allowed that to happen to bring me a place. And He showed me when I was in line the need, the need that the people out there need. So it wasn't, you see, He didn't bring me to that point just, just to, to bring me down to my pride, but He helped me see something that I didn't see before. And that was there's a need. There's more need. And I said, well, you got the Salvation Army, you got the goodwill, you know what? And the Lord said, no, nah, there's more need. There's still more need. And even today, just because people ministry exists, there's still more need. It'll never end. There's always need to help the needy, the people that are weak, uh, women with left children, uh, alcoholism, drugism, sexualism. There's all kinds of stuff going on right now as we speak, even in this town, let alone across the world. It's got pathetically bad. And uh, I get uh, some insight as I as I get in, my, in the presence of the Lord, and, and uh, He kind of shows me just where the need is sometimes. But through people's ministry that has existed now for, has been founded by my wife and I, and it was a vision from the Lord 22 years ago. Yeah. We were in Tilsonburg for 14, we were in Ingersoll for two, we were in Delhi for two years, and now we've been in Simcoe for three, and it just gets better and better and better as far as people's ministry growing and doing uh, the good works of the Lord. Uh, many people have come to know Jesus in the saving grace of Jesus Christ, John 3.16 says, uh, who shall believe in God, uh, shall never perish, but have eternal life. And uh, we get many opportunities when people come. We don't have to go looking for them. We just come into the store. It Beautiful. seems like they know. Uh, people's ministry is not a church intimidated place. It's very relaxed. They come in and they just sense the presence because we're not about religious. We're about fellowship. We're about friendship. We're about having fun in life and being free to be the kid that we never were able to be when we were younger because hurt took its place and then drugs and alcohol and whatever took its place. Disappointment in, in loved ones and, and family who have sexually abused. And we deal a lot with sexually abused people in the way of just comforting them, let them know they're not alone because so many people, men and women alike, have all these secrets and they think they're the only one and because you can see that in a person's eyes sometimes because there's no life there. Mm -hmm. So something is stopping them from being what God intended them to be from the very beginning. Nobody out there has been a mistake. There's been people adopted and put away in the sense of, you know, foster homes or maybe into um, adopted into a good family or maybe adopted into such not as such a good family. But the whole thing is, I don't have all the answers, but I can just say from my experience, um, God is love. God is love. And unfortunately, my battery light is flashing. So what I want to do is just have your final words. On this well, I don't know how much wisdom, but my final word for Amy is the fact that, you know what, if you're hurting, if, if you've come to your wit's end, if you've had enough of your situation, whether you be male or female, whether you be two years old, okay, I won't go that low, but uh, uh, that young, whether you're 10 years old or you're 110 years old, there's hope. Uh, for me, I had to humble myself and just get down on my knees and say, God, if you're really there, would you help me? And I can tell you one thing, and I can attest to this over and over again, He is there and He will help you. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Brian. Brian, thank you for your beautiful message of hope. Thank you for sharing your story, your journey through life with the audience. It will definitely touch people and I'm sure inspire people. So thank you for taking the time. Thank you for everything. You're an absolute inspiration and like I said, you're an absolute angel. So many blessings and much love.